rapper. Only stack rapper that you know is stack rapper. What's the personal life like? How do you maintain family, friends, women? Everybody knows what yeah, you do. Yeah, does it work? Yeah, how, how do you make... Your woman shows up in your... In your, in your, in your, in your <laughs> I've seen your girl show up in, 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 in your drinks. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you, you talk yeah. about Y'all still together, right? Of course. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah. He's, he's adamant about it. It's the goal. Okay. Like he, he'll tell a motherfucker in a minute, like, no, she's, yeah. she's the one. That's right. the one. What the fuck what you talking about? That's a fact. How do you... Right. How do you... Well, it took a while, bro. Um, in the beginning, trying to date, <laughs> it was hard, bro. But... <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, a, lot, a lot of females ain't believe me and shit, you know. Right, right. For but, me, um, what? I never it's a lot of females bagged boys. the chick. They, they, they ain't believe me. Like, oh, I was in love. One I was, like, I was, I was trying to have a relationship. Yeah. A lot of females ain't believe that or took me serious. That's what I'm trying to say because I was an IG comedian. Right. Um, yeah. then sooner or later, you bump into that right person. Took it serious. Took me serious. And um, as far as balancing it out, she... She learned uh, how to be like my assistant slash girlfriend manager and help me out. Does that that's good? Does, that's business wise. How does that affect business? It's great, bro. That's the only person that does help me besides but the, her and then my management. You know what right. I mean? She's the closest person to me. You know what I mean? I, I'm with her every night. You know what I mean? That's the person I go to. Like, yo, what you think about this? What you think about that? And she she gives me feedback. Right. Teaches me how to say certain words like. I was a wild boy, bro, a couple of years ago saying, dropping bombs and shit. She'd be like, no, you can't say that. You know what I mean? So hmm. I, 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 it's true. You, know, you have a good woman by your side and, and you're trying to run a business. Nothing, nothing, nothing's bad. I don't think nothing could bad happen when you got somebody good by your side. I, right think, I think eventually the right one. if your ambition matches, then yes. Yeah, that exactly. Because she but sees she sees my dream and she's down. If she treats she has, your dream like her dream... Yes. And that's what she does because she got a regular nine to five. But bro. the day she, she gets do sleepy else. on the job, it's going to drive you nuts and it's going to affect both worlds. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I got you. I talk about the personal side versus social media. I ain't going to really talk about relationships. Everybody know wifey and how we met. And the day, you know what I'm saying? She's an aspiring actress. We met on the set on the web series 124. A lot of people know the story. You know what I'm saying? She do what she do. She worked with other influencers. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Trinity Topic Tip and Wifey and all that. But when I talk about personal side, it's hard to move. It's hard to move in a personal aspect. Personal like meaning like you can't just be anywhere. And yeah. a lot of people don't understand that. Because first thing I learned from my mentor, shout out to Comedian Capone, stop putting yourself in places where you're, you're going to lessen your value. Right. Mm. We be up, but you might show up to some places for free all day and just be showing your face and easy to get. Right. Anybody walking up on you and, and just have a conversation with you or, or you in a spot. They ain't gonna wanna book you. Next thing you know, you see? it's not easy. To, it's it's, it's, it's oh, so man. easy. It's like, you know, he's been here a thousand times. You at every strip club, you at every afty, you at every lounge, you at every club, just showing up. Can't do it. And everybody asks you, this is the DMs we get, being personal now, everybody think they personal with you. They'll send you a DM and say, yo, pull up. Pull up. It's my birthday. <laughs> nigga, you missed my birthday. I will miss your funeral, nigga, because you wasn't at my birthday. Right. That's how petty I am. Right. But at the same time, that's the thing I have, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to being like personal, it's like everybody wants you in their space. Right. Yo, nigga, just come as fresh out while they're coming to my birthday. It's like, really? Nah, if you can though, show love. If you're free. I'm always free, but my time ain't. Right. I make my own schedule. But stop, stop that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it be it be just so much disrespect. And I get it, because you gotta take your shot. Everybody gonna take your shot. Yo, can you be here? Can you be there? I I can be there. But let's talk business. I'm a, I'm a <laughs> business person. Go ring. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm really a business person. <laughs> At the end of the day, like, I love to talk business. You know what I'm saying? And I, the numbers ain't high enough. It's just that New York has been shit on New York for so long. You go out of town, yep. you can leave the country, they got it for you. Red carpet rolled out. No, because it's beautiful. Because there's no. Your chance. city gonna give you a hook on the bottom, but like, please. Because the, cha the chances. <laughs> please. The chances of them actually seeing you are slimmer. 
so the value is higher. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So you might you might go out to fucking Wisconsin and the motherfucker see you in CVS and be like, oh my god, yeah. what are you doing here? Facts. The reaction is gonna be different. <laughs> Maybe they see you in New York, had to learn past you, not say nothing to call a man. It's like yo 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 yo. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna Facetime you. I just ice grilled this nigga. I just ice grilled him at the bodega. Yeah. I'm on the train, <laughs> so I'm gonna get a chopped Silly cheese. Shit. <laughs> nigga I'm on the train it. with my wife, and we we having like a little dispute. We're not arguing crazy, but we just talking or whatever. Some dude pulls his camera out from the like three chairs down. Go ahead, can make a joke now. You man, serious, bro. <laughs> what? Personally, I was man. like, yo, yeah. what the fuck? I was like, go ahead, fam, tag me. I'm gonna go to your profile picture and violate like, you. Bro. This is an Instagram yeah. right now, man. It just be crazy when you, so when you talk about that yeah. personal space. Yeah, it's I go hard, fuck. bro. It's, if it's if hard, my years man. of battle Holy rap, shit. my years of battle rap, if I got on a train, I was mad paranoid because I feel like niggas would just film me. Mm. I can believe that. Just yeah, I can believe me. that. That's what it was so for if real. I saw a nigga camera moving, I would get up from where I was and go sit right next to him. It didn't matter if the whole shit was empty. Mm. 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 <laughs> and the motherfucker just be sitting there like this. Yeah, do that shit now. Yeah. Nah, that's shit is, yeah, I, I go to an audition. Like that. I go to an audition all the way in Brooklyn. I take the train and shit. I gotta get be there at eight in the morning and shit. I leave the audition. I'm sleeping on the train. <laughs> oh, they got you. I go to my stories, damn, this nigga's doing bad job. Nigga. <laughs> nigga. And I'm sleeping, nigga. yo. Let me tell you I was drooling, so I'm like, oh. yo. They, they, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, look at Ken Starr's doing bad, lie. yo. It's <laughs> they got me one time, bro. Oh. By the time I got off the train, niggas was like, this nigga Mav is, had caught me knocked on the I Still said, battling? Again. Huh? Still no, battling? I was battling. Ooh. Because you know, that's like, that's like a whole round. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's a whole bad. round. You, you already yeah. owing one. Like, wow. damn, wow. nigga about to kill me on this yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Like, I got to. No, that's three rounds of material. It is. That's you three can't. rounds. But nigga sleeping, know what to do. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I nigga, said, sleep, sleep, sleeping on the train, <laughs> I'm going to train you to be <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Niggas is ready to kill it's you over, bro. off the sleep on the savage. train. Right. And yeah. then a person like that would claim that they're a fan. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. savage, bro. That's some bullshit. Because they want the attention Yo. more than they want yeah. your admiration. Um, mm-hmm. They just want you to talk to them. So I remember um, I got into a fight with this guy, right? Real fight? Yeah. I was beating him up. Everyone throws a skit. <laughs> and the guy was bleeding all over. <laughs> Yo, Gene, Gene, said, bro. Tag me. You talking about the show Yo, tag me, bro. the car? No, no, no. It was a real, no, that was a, it was a real fight. That was real fight. Yeah, it happened at um, this Jamaican restaurant. What? What's wrong with you, man? No, 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 no. He was mad disrespectful. I just, I was on the phone with my brother, and the guy just kept talking. Then he pushed me, and it was, it was over. The last Coco Bread. Uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, it was the festival. It was the festival. I want the festival. Not the festival. And, we gonna um, fight the festival. Yeah. So the guy you know, was fun. bleeding, but everyone kept saying it was it's fake, it's acting. The guy's bleeding and gushing out and everything. They were like, "Wait, hold on, huh? You lucked out, out. Yeah, 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 they were like, "This is fake." This is you lucked out. I would have patted my back like, "Yeah, y'all, yeah. yeah. you gonna see you on Instagram later." Yeah. I'm out. He's really sleeping. <laughs> so you, so you basically saying for your personal life, like, a lot of people <laughs> test you or something. Like, um, like at, you get tested point, a lot. At one point, um, off IG people test you. A lot of people run down you and test you. Another story was in Chicago. You know how gangster Chicago is. And I got into a fight with the, the chef. And they called security and the cops. So they dragged me out the party. Can, wait, stop. Why, why, are you, why fighting? are you fighting in restaurants? Why, no, why no, are you no, fighting? Me and the chef, the chef was talking. Why are you always shit. fighting over food? How, how do you get so close to the chef? Huh? <laughs> why are you always fighting over How you got so close to the crazy. chef? Um, no, we was in the back. Because uh-huh. I was like the special guest, whatever. So me and the chef was talking and started talking shit. And I was like, what's good? He thought I went to fight, but I was just saying, how you doing, whatever. And then he's like, yo, you're not leaving Chicago. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm like, what? So I took my jacket off. We was about to fight. And then security came. Cops, they dragged me out. <laughs> no club. And everyone thought it was a skit again. You got to stop feeding And girls, then, No, no, no. no that, that, that stopped. And then he said, they said that, that I'm the one that got the party shut down. Me and everyone, Some people thought it was a skit. Some people thought it was real. It just... 
It's crazy with me. I could do anything and people won't think it's real. They'll think, think it's a skit. So I start yeah. screaming at chicks, cursing them out. And I'm like, this nigga's is about man. to be a hired hitman, bro. No, but I had to it's change all that. It's a skit. Yeah, bro. I had to change all that, you know? It, it really was getting like crazy, though. I'm like, yeah, yo. That's why. Yeah. It's just a skit. Yeah, it's just a skit. <laughs> people, people know your shit so well, they don't know when you're doing it and when you're not. Neither yeah, they, they don't know when. Shit. That's, that's 100% like, your fault. You get that, right? No, I'm not mad about it. I accept the responsibility. Yo, that, but I'm just saying, some situations. Like, That's damn. a whole movie script right huh? there, bro. Why? A nigga fake so much shit outside that now when he do it for real, nobody believes it's real. That's Boy, who cry wolves. <laughs> Serial killer. That's why you really got to know people. You got to really get to know people. You know what I'm saying? Like, meet and greets is really important. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you not, if you, even if you don't want to get on stage, try it. Do five minutes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, get really get to know your fans. Like, you even get out there and touch the stage if you haven't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Get out there and do as much as you can in the, in, the, in the actually open eye to the public and go back to where it was like that because at the end of the day, we don't know how long we have social media. Facts. That shit can crash tomorrow. Yeah, right. Do it all, bro. You, and you know what I'm saying? Platform for everything. Collect emails. Get phone numbers. Get a, get a contact list and all that. Like people showing up for you. Collect everybody. Shut the door. All that is important. You know why? Because when this shit's over... Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rapper.